Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to get the question we talked about yesterday back into the situation of the 20 team league. A league has 20 teams. Each season, every two teams play twice. With three points for a victory, one point for a draw, and no points for a loss. At the end of a season, there are no two teams that obtain the same points. So at least how many points does the championship team have to obtain? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's start with the situation, where there are teams having the same points. As we've discussed these days, if teams are allowed to have the same points, then the case would be that, all the games end in a draw, with 38 points for each team. If that is not allowed, then there must be teams which have more than 38 points. Let's assume, there is one team with 38 points, and its rank is N plus 1. We expect that the championship team has the points as few as possible. So the ideal case is, for each team which ranks one position higher, they have only one point higher. Then the championship team therefore has 38 plus N points. And we expect that this N is as small as possible. Attention, there is an issue. With the same amount of points, one team can in principle have different records. For example, the team with 38 points can have 38 draws. Or one win, 35 draws and 2 losses. Or 2 wins, 32 draws and 4 losses, etc. As we see, although their points are the same, the difference between the amounts of wins and losses is different. The more wins, the fewer the wins minus losses. However, from the perspective of the whole league, in the end, total wins and total losses must be equal. We indicate the total amount of the games won by the teams with more than 38 points as W1. And the total amount of the games they lost as L1. And the games won by the teams with 38 points or below as W2. And their total losses as L2. We therefore have, W1 minus L1 equal to L2 minus W2. Now let's calculate the maximum value of W1 minus L1, and the minimum value of L2 minus W2 respectively. Because the more wins, the fewer the wins minus losses. No matter we calculate the maximum value of W1 minus L1, or the minimum value of L2 minus W2. We all need to expect the amount of wins by any team as few as possible. Therefore, the team with 39 points has 1 win, 36 draws and 1 loss. The team with 40 points has 1 win and 37 draws. The team with 41 points has 2 wins, 35 draws and 1 loss. The team with 42 points has 2 wins and 36 draws. The team with 43 points has 3 wins, 34 draws and 1 loss, etc. As we can see, the calculation of W1 and L1 depends on whether N is odd or even. If N is even, we have two arithmetic progressions. So W1 is equal to 1 plus half N, multiplied by half N. Which is equal to 2 plus N, times N, over 4. L1 is equal to half N. In the same way, if N is odd, W1 is equal to the square of N plus 1 over 4. L1 is equal to half N plus 1. For the teams that have no more than 38 points, they don't need any winning game to achieve those points. So to minimize the amount of wins, we can set all of theirs as zero. That is, W2 is equal to zero. The only requirement then is that, the amount of losing games must increase, along with the ranks going down. The team with 38 points therefore loses zero games. The team with 37 points loses one game. The team with 36 points loses two games, and so on. Arithmetic progression again. So the minimum value of L2 minus W2, that is in fact, the minimum value of L2 itself, is equal to half of 19 minus N times 20 minus N. Because W1 minus L1 is equal to L2 minus W2, the maximum value of W1 minus L1 cannot be smaller than the minimum value of L2 minus W2. For each case, where N is even or odd, we always have a quadratic inequality in one variable. Here we skip the specific process of solving them. When n is even, the smallest even solution is 12. When n is odd, the smallest odd solution is 13. So the final solution is that, n equals 12. Then the minimum points for the championship team is 38 plus 12, 
which equals 50 points. As for the specific record, there can be actually many possibilities, such as the following one. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.